Your update meantime this morning in Northern Virginia, Fairfax County police say a man seen here is believed to have sexually assaulted a woman this week. We're told he is in custody and later this morning police are expected to give us more details. Right now though, Jess Arnold joining us live from Fairfax County Police Headquarters where that press conference will be held later this morning. Jess, um, I do have a question though. Do police believe that he could maybe be connected to multiple assaults in the county? Yeah, they say they believe it could be connected to two assaults in Chantilly and potentially others in Loudoun County. Now, our team actually spoke with a woman who said it was her neighbor who was the victim of Monday's assault. She was very scary, uh, crying. She said, I am very worried because my mom went after this, this man. He touched me and I am scary for my mom. This neighbor says Monday morning a woman knocked on her door on Northeast Place in Chantilly, screaming and crying. She said that a man had sexually assaulted her and her mom was chasing after him. Now, police say it happened in broad daylight that the man came up to the woman, grabbed her in an intimate area and put her in a chokehold. They confirmed that the victim's mother did in fact chase after him, but he did get away. Now, they believe it's the same person who tried to sexually assault a woman on May 18th in her own home just a few blocks away. Now, police say descriptions of both assaults are similar. Similar. Now, as they continue to investigate, they discovered that he may be behind another sexual assault, this time in Loudoun County. That one was on May 10th on Loudoun County's Northern Virginia Community College campus. They have footage of that suspect, too. Any one of these incidents alone is troubling. When you have multiple incidents that might potentially be connected, the level of alarm goes up, and that's why the Fairfax County Police, we've responded with a lot of resources. Again, police are expected to share more details this morning at 1030 at a press conference that's happening right here behind me at the public safety headquarters. So as soon as we have any more information, we'll pass it along to you. In Fairfax County, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.